Okay, everyone. So I just recently, how do you say, buried <laughs> my Keurig. It was a decent Keurig. It made like a extra small, I believe, small, medium, then large, meaning it can make a travel mug size. But the only thing was the amount of coffee that a cup made. I didn't have the cup machine, the Keurig, which made the, I believe it's the two cup, because the Keurig made a cup like that, like this actually, I have a box before it died, we purchased this box. They have the option to make a K-cup this size. My buddy has a Keurig though, that has the option to make the pouch like maybe that big, so you can make it multiple cups or a large travel mug. My, uh, mine, I guess, had those options, but it didn't have the compartment or the ability to make the larger Keurig pouch. So, I went out and bought the Hamilton Brew Flex, the Hamilton Beach Flex Brew, which, at the moment, I'm really, really, really excited about. I was kind of disappointed at first when I saw it, and I'm like, oh, how are we gonna make our K-Cups that we just purchased? me talking to the wife so I'm doing extra you know overview of the new machine because I was a really really good diehard Keurig I guess consumer like hey I love the machine I'll never buy anything other than a Keurig well, ours died. We went out to try to buy a new one. It was very expensive. Too expensive. Got a good deal on our first model. It died. Tried to get the same one. It was a little over over 100 bucks. Uh, as we went on and on and on trying to find the perfect machine, the Keurig just kept getting more expensive. So you can get one that's 105. You can get one that's 150 or 200 price range. 200 or more. So we went out with the Hamilton Beach Flex Brew, which is pretty awesome. Uh, it has the ability to make 12 cups. 12 cups. This is for parties though, guys. Like I'm normally the only one to drink coffee once in a blue. My wife will have a cup. So we bought the Keurig just for that reason. Single cups, you know? Uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right, but it's Carafe right here all right there um, there we go um but i know that keeps the pot warm for the time being like i said i just purchased it ability to keep the cup the, the pot warm this right here is just programming you hold it down start time all that stuff start bro you know, this is a brew strength. You got the ability to go bold, regular. I'm the bold guy. It's my option. It has its own, own water reservoir on this side of the machine just for this portion. Both sides. You know what I'm saying? It, they work by themselves. You don't add water here and it fills this and the ability to fill this. So it does have the ability 4K cup and all this came together. I didn't buy any accessories. I didn't buy this unit right here because I own a K cup. Like it came in the box. This is the K cup holder. It goes in there, make sure it goes in, in the grooves right here. It will not close or click. Each compartment clicks, I believe, before it starts. It will not start if it doesn't click shut. So the K cup literally, boom, falls right in. Shut the lid. Make your cup. If you didn't want to make the K cup, you have ground inside. Inside of the, I call it a stand. It's, you know, it does have a name for it. But that's me calling it a stand. If I broke out the manual, I'm pretty sure it's called something else. But that being said, this piece comes off. Oh, hello and behold, it's a storage compartment. And this is for ground, grounds, guys. Like, this piece comes off. 
piece goes in, same thing, make sure it's in the grooves. And doing this one handed, pops open. There is a fill line in there, I believe it's three tablespoons. I believe it is 44 milliliters max. That's max fill guys. You don't want to go over, you'll get grounds inside of your coffee. If you're that type, I knew I do know a family member who adds a little coffee grounds into his coffee. Not man, I'm not gonna say any words though. Any names, any names, sorry. But like I said, this is whole storage. Take one piece out, put it in there, boom, put the lid on. Alright. Let me put this back in here. Goes in, goes in there just like that. Boom. Sorry, camera's drifting. Using my phone, didn't bust out the camera. My normal camera. This goes in there like that. Hide that in there. I keep, I keep this portion in because that's what I make. I love it. I'm a cake up guy. Don't have the machine, but I can still buy their, their cups. Secure cups are compatible to this machine. And uh, the thing about this is, guys, when you brew a cup, you can actually stop at mid-brew. So if you know you have a cup that holds six ounces, you can stop either just before six or at six. And what I've read in the, in the manual, it allows you the option to, how do you call it, flush out your needle. Cause there's a needle at the top, which can get clogged if you do like hot chocolate, you know, sometimes coffee grounds can get stuck in there. So this needle right here, this gray piece actually rotates off you twist it, it comes off, you can bring it down, and you can actually stick a straw, like a small straw inside where the, the water actually comes out and you can unclog it. Simple as that, I know Keurig, the option, the one I had, I couldn't take that needle portion all the way out. I could take where the cup sits out and wash that out. Or maybe I could have and I just really didn't pay attention to that. And just like the other, just like the, the left side here, left, in the video, they, it has its own. It's, it has its own water reservoir, like six ounce, eight, 10, 12, 14 max. And it says it on there, guys. Look, it's got a K for K cups. K for K cup. And then, of course, that's your travel mug. Travel mug. Travel mug. Um, yeah. My Keurig had that option, but like I said, a lot of it came out watery. It was watery. Like, it didn't make what it said it was going to make. So if I went medium, I, you definitely had to put more than one cake up in, but I couldn't stop it mid-brew. This one, you can stop mid-brew and restart. It'll pick up where it left off. Well, it did for me. Like, I literally tried it, and it, it worked. Um, and I think that's cool. Like, say, I guess... I don't know. Maybe it's not cool. Maybe you wanted to start something. Oh, it's a run cup. Boom. Pop it out. Put it to what you want in there and then close it. Or someone said that you can actually put, I guess, milk. I'm not sure. At the top and then get started. Or if you want half chocolate, half hot chocolate. Or half coffee, half hot chocolate. You put the coffee in, start it. Boom. Stop midway. Put the hot chocolate in and start it. I don't know. I will. I will explore that neck of the woods and I guess I can post it or I will if you guys want to see that just you know send me you know a message or just comment like I said I'm, I'm new to videotaping and uh, letting the world see what product, products can and can't do but it's pretty pretty good pretty good right now it's, it is set for the big cup I call this a cup, coffee pot, I guess you want to call it. It's set for the big coffee pot. But you have the option to just hit single and it moves on over to what you really want to make, single or travel mug. So that being said, I am all done with the Hamilton Beach Flex Brew. When everything clicks, you just heard that click. It would not start up if it didn't click. And I'm I mean, it's self-explanatory, but if I move this out, it fits the travel mug underneath there. You know, travel mug. That's the gappage. And that's it. If you loved or liked the video, of 
course, let your uh, your guy. I know I'm not everyone's guy out there, but just let me know. I will continue, or I'll continue to post other items on here besides the coffee making. All right. Thank you, guys. See you later.